Hello, my name is Marina and I would like to demonstrate the interactive wireframes which I created as part of my Information Architecture class project. This video is based on the user scenario which you may find in my SlideShare account along with other slides for this project. This prototype demonstrates some interactivity of the wireframes that enable the user to browse the website and to get to a content page using the website primary navigation and local navigation. The user may also jump back to previous pages he visited thanks to the navigation features such as breadcrumbs. This is the home page of the website and this menu here is the primary navigation with the main categories of the website. In our user case scenario the user wants to buy pallet trucks. These will be hosted in the forklifts category. So the first thing the user does is to click on the forklifts button. This is a navigation page that lists the variety um, of forklifts the company sells. The user finds the pallet trucks icon and in order to make sure that this is the right subcategory for him he can click on this image to view some more additional images um, of these uh, products. Uh, this pop-up window uh, can be closed and then the user can continue uh, with his selection. By clicking on the icon he is taken to a second navigation page. This time it is dedicated to pallet trucks only. As you can see here, uh, we have a local navigation menu on the left side that lists the same uh, categories which are listed here in these um, uh, rectangulars. So the user has two ways to proceed to the product that he wants to buy. Either to click on uh, the left side, on the left uh, navigation menu and get to the stainless pallet trucks or to read a little bit more details about that uh, the, these types um, of pallet trucks maybe see additional image here and then after he makes the selection to click and follow this link. This is the content or uh, the final destination page that lists the stainless pallet trucks. The user may see additional images by hovering with his mouse over, um, uh, over the image and of course he can read more information about the product. This is not active uh, but once the website is developed uh, the user would be able to limit the search by price range, wheel type and capacity. But for now it's not working. Um, the user uh, can get back to any of the previously visited pages by simply clicking on the breadcrumbs that he left to get there and they will take him uh, one or two levels up. Or he can start over by clicking either on the logo of the company or on the home page button which is again part of the breadcrumbs. In this case I will click on the logo. Thank you so much for watching.